Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do something a little new for the channel. Um, I haven't done this before, but I've wanted to. Um, I actually went to a tournament for a card game that I played today. The card game is called Argent Saga. It's a lot of fun. Um, my overall record was two, two and one. Uh, two losses, uh, two wins, two losses, one draw. Uh, I almost topped. Um, I kind of choked in my last round. Uh, made some some critical misplays that cost me the game, and even I still almost won. We made it to game three, and uh, yeah, well, one attack away from winning. Um, a lot of people saw my deck and wanted and wanted to see my list because they really they thought it was interesting. Um, so I figured I'd post it on the channel. Um, this deck is very subject to change because I threw it together literally the night before the tournament. And I've already got new ideas for it, uh, but uh, let's get into the profile. All right. So first off, let's start off with the Champion and Spirit. We got Eton the Exiled Prince. Once per turn, pay one, sacrifice a unit, you control, put into play one air unit from your hand, whose cost is one greater than the sacrificed unit. Uh, for any Magic players, Birthing Pod. Um, it's good, it lets you get out guys cheap, it lets you get out guys early, and you can do it in response to your opponent targeting your guys. It's a great, great champion. Um, Kite the Air Spirit. Once per turn, during your turn, discard one card, return target A and you control to its owner's hand. If you do such one of your exhausted shards to active. Soul Burst, return target unit with cost 3 or less to its owner's hand. Um, Kite is just a combo enabler. Um, he just makes the deck go. Um, he sets up for bigger plays. He gives you an extra shard to keep on going. Um, his soul burst can be used as a last, oh, as an oh crap button, or it can be used for, you know, defensive option, or if you absolutely need that one more bounce back, you can use it. Um, but yeah, he kind of makes it, he really does make the deck go. Alright, so we're going to start with the main deck. Um, let's see. Let's start with one drops. I play two Skyship Engineer. Um, Skyship Engineer, one cost, 1000 power. Exhaust, return target unit to the owner's hand. If you do, airship unit, you cost one or less to play this turn. Um, my current build doesn't actually play any airships in the main so I really just use it as an early game attacker you know a thousand can break the two small towers let me see the other ones um, and I can use her effect in response to her getting targeted again or just to combo her with with Skytree command center um, to build up on on counters I've actually done crazy combos with her where she would give me that one last counter I needed it to do a defensive or offensive play so she's a solid card she's usually a pain in the butt to kill but she's great next I play three armor carbuncles some people like this card some people don't um, I like this card because it's good for filter um, what it actually does is when this card is returned to your hand from the field you may search your deck for another copy Add to your hand during your turn. You can expel this card and two more Arbor, Arbor Carbuncles from your hand to draw two cards and active two shards. Um, he combos amazing with Kite because you discard one, you get the card back. You get a card back, so it makes up for it. Um, once you get all three, you can ditch the three the three one drops. You know, see see two new, two new cards, active two shards. Um, it combos really, really good with 4-drop Eton, um, because you can kite for one, Eton for the second one, now two air units bounce back, you get Eton into play, and now these guys are live in your hand, and you can either use them whenever you want, whenever you might need shards or to see new cards, or say you want to set up a Garga, you can set up a Garga turn one. It gets a little silly. Um, let's do this. Um, I only play one two drop unit, and that is Skytree Hawk. I pay three of them. Um, this deck needs to see certain cards, so 
uh, you need your combo pieces and you need as much hand as you can, so I kind of built it to max out on hand advantage. Um, so Sky Tree Hawk, when, when this card is returned to your hand from the field, you can discard it to draw two cards. So the deck has a bunch of, a bunch of bounce back, um, so this card's almost always live. I mean, he also works as a thousand K attacker. You can swing with him, see a tower, bounce him, draw cards. It's just he was one of the first cards that, that Green had for any kind of draw power. Uh, next, I play three Greyhawk of Cloud Sea. Arrive if there's a destroyed air tower on either side of the board. You can exhaust a target unit and return another target unit to the owner's hand. Um, this card is absolutely bonkers. Um, it's great for offense. Uh, Great for defense. Um, great for good for stuff for stopping guardians, getting rid of tokens. Uh, it kind of just does it all. And because it's a three drop, it's right in that mid range, making it like the absolute ideal target for Statue Command Center. Next, we got the new girl, Ariana, Hope of Argos. She has Brawler. Brawler basically says the turn she's played, she can actually attack um, opponent's units, whether they're exhausted or active. And then if she's ruined, you can discard one card to search your deck for any Eton in the deck and add it to your hand. Um, she put in a lot of work today. Um, there were times where I would play her or have her on board, swing with her, bounce her back, play her again, swing at a dude. Um... Repro Bloom did not like this card because people would play it, try to try to get out as many tokens as they could. She would just come in and smack him. Um, and then their tokens would set up Garga and they'd be very upset with me. Um, I like her. The only thing I wish is that she didn't have to discard to get the search. I would have liked the, the straight one for one as opposed to the minus one. But it is what it is. Still a decent card. Um, I like it a lot. All right, this card I have a funny story about. Um, I only run one because I only have one. Queen of the Sand Sea. I forgot this card was in the set. Um, I bought a box right before the tournament I went to and I pulled her and I didn't realize how dope she was. Arrive, take control of unit with cost two or less as long as you control this card. The amount of amazing one and two drops in the game right now, whether they be colored or colorless, just she has so many targets she is bonkers um i love this card i wish i had more of them probably would have changed up some of my matchups today uh amazing card um onto the four drops three eton righteous outlaw four drop 25k uh, discard this card from your hand, return target air you control three or less to its owner's hand. If this card is in your discard zone, when air unit is returned from your hand to your hand from the field, and it's the second time this turn, you can put this card into play at rest, but it gets ex expelled when it leaves the field again. Um, this card is just... It's a really good card to just fall back on. Um, you... A lot of times I kept it in my hand so that way I can bounce in response to one of my opponent's cards. Um, it gives me access to all my on place abilities again. Great Hawk, Queen. Uh, it combos amazing with Carbuncle because, like I said, you can get it out turn one. And having a 25 beat stick on turn one is psycho. Um, searchable with, Ar with Ariana. Um, it, it's just a good card. <laughs> I love that card. Uh, next, we got one of the, none of the new card, three, Santee Drakes, um, four drop, 2k, arrive, if a unit was sent to your field, to the discard zone this turn, you may return target unit to the owner's hand, and then when a unit you control is returned to the owner's hand, you may give another target unit quickness. Alright, quickness in, in, in green is great because it doesn't have any, they only have one unit that has built in quickness. Um, Sancy Drake I like a lot it actually combos best with the Eton Champion more than anything because you can pay one sack a three drop put him into play now his arrive effect goes off because something was sent from field to grave 
I'm sorry. Discard. <laughs> um, I also like comboing him with Ariana. Pay one, sack Ariana, put him to play, discard a card, search an Eton unit. And now I get to I get to bounce a dude. If I bounce one of my opponent's dude, cool. If I bounce one of my dudes, I get to give something quickness. Um, the only way they could have really made this card better is if he can give himself quickness. <laughs> but he's absolutely solid. I play two Eton Protector of Argos. He's uh, the new Argent Rare for green. He's a five drop, three K. Uh, he has Guardian. He is the only card in the game with this effect. Uh, whatever units in front of him has to attack. And then, oh, if able, I'm sorry. And then he has a Ruined effect where if he is destroyed or sacrificed, you can discard an Eton unit to keep him on the board. Um, he's an okay card, kind of mediocre, um, especially for an Argent Rare. Um, he is good for making, for getting, absolutely getting rid of problem cards. Uh, like, you could put him in front of a card you really want to kill and then force him to attack with it. Um, like Juggernaut. And then you could just discard an Eton unit to keep him. Um, three Gargas. Gargas a staple. Um, arrive, choose a cost. Return all units on both players' boards to the to the owner's hands. If two or more are returned, he gets quickness. Um, he's been good since he came out. Uh, sometimes he sets up my plays by bouncing back my own dudes. Uh, sometimes he's just abusable with, with certain cards. Like, I played a lot of games today where I would target Repla Bloom. They'd get their tokens. And then I would just drop Gargar and wipe their tokens. I had one opponent who had four tokens on the board and they all got wiped at once. Alright, uh, that's it for units, so we're going to move on to spells. Alright, so spells. I play two Guiding Winds, uh, new Instacast, one drop. Uh, return target unit control to your hand, and if you do, draw a card. Um, I run this card... Mostly as a response card, you know, opponent targets one of my dudes, I can save him, and I get to draw a card. Um, more draw power, and more ways to bounce. Sometimes, if you end up having a cracks, um, if you end up having to soul burst with kite, you don't have a whole lot of ways to bounce back. So this just gives you one more way to bounce back, and it's cheap. Um, I actually did an insane combo with this card, where I was really, really down. Um, guy had, I think three attacks coming at me and I can only stop one so I needed to see more cards I had command center with one counter on it I played one bounced back a guy drew a card gained a counter used another one on a scratchy hawk drew a card did the scratchy hawk drew three cards that gave me a third counter and I drew into a great hawk of cloud seed pretty dope I played two omega magic kaze um I only play two because I only have two. <laughs> um, this is another really, really good card. Uh, Instacast. If you have two or less towers remaining, this card becomes zero to play, which free play for a card like this is psycho. Um, target unit cannot deal damage or attack this turn. And you get to draw a card. So you can pick a dude you don't want to swing and make it so he can't swing at all. Like some cards have effects on when they attack. Or you can let the card attack and make it so it can't deal damage. The reason you want that is that way it's, it's rested when you go into your turn so you can attack it. So it's a very variable card. And the fact that it can be free means you can bait it, you can tap out, use all your resources and make your opponent think you're going to die. And then just drop this and they're like, oh, sad face. Um, new card, two drop, uh, Vabriel's Gift. Search your deck for any card, add it to your hand. It's the only real tutor in the game. Um, you can literally search any card in your deck, and you don't even have to show it to your opponent because it's a search any, uh, not specific to any, anything at all. Uh, staple, Hurricane Shot 3, Instacast, as an additional cost to play this card, you have to return an air unit to your hand, and you can destroy a target for or less. The reason I love this card is because, A, it's a destroy, not damage, which is a problem with the other two, um destruction cards that green has is they deal damage and there's a lot of way, ways to stop damage or lessen damage this just kills out 
Also, the fact that it has to bounce an air unit as cost means your opponent cannot respond to it to stop you from bouncing your air unit. And a lot of times you would use that just to get the air unit back 100% of the time. Um, say I wanted to get back my Arbor Carbuncle with Guiding Winds. My opponent could respond to it and kill it before the Guiding Winds bounces it back to my hand. Whereas Hurricane Shot is 100% guaranteed you get the card back. Um, now on to Augments. Three Skytree Command Center. He is This thing is the heart and soul of the deck. It is the, still the best card in green. Um, a one cost augment and it is when a unit is returned to your hand from the from the field place one counter on this card for each exhaust remove any number of counters from this card put into play one unit from your hand with a cost equal to the number of counters removed all right here's a couple reasons this card is amazing all right it says when a unit is returned to your hand from the field your opponent could take control of one of your guys and if you can bounce it back you get a counter the color of the card that bounces back to your hand doesn't matter. Um, the color of the card you put into play it doesn't matter. Um, you could have, obviously, you can have as many as you want at, at a time. But like I've, I've had games where I had three of these, and I would just combo them left and right, and it just it would get silly. Um, obviously, you can exhaust, remove counters, and play cards in your opponent's turn. Hell, you can play cards at the end of your opponent's turn, just have attackers ready to go on your turn. Um, it's just an absolutely bonkers card. Um, it's a lot of reason, a lot of reasons that other colored decks run the green, uh, the green shard Zephyr Crystal, just to make sure they can get rid of this card. In which case, it's still good, because they're paying three to get rid of a one drop. I had a guy waste his entire turn just to make sure this card was dead. And last card in the main deck, one Monarch Sky Dagger, two drop augment. Now, uh, this card can be equipped to a, a unit, arrive, it gets a counter. Um, during either player's turn, you can remove the counter to either deal 500 to something or give the unit it's equipped to 500. Not bad, um, good for pinging little guys, but its main effect is the second effect. Um, if this card is in your discard zone when an air unit is returned to your hand, you can add this card back to your hand. Um, this card is mainly meant as fodder for Kite. Kite's effect requires you to discard a card to bounce an air unit. So you discard Monarch Sky Dagger. Monarch Sky Dagger is now in your, your drop area. You bounce the air unit, you active a shard. Because you bounce an air unit, you get Monarch Sky Dagger back. So as opposed to Kite being a minus one to bounce a guy, you can use him for free. The only reason I run one is because he's only really used it's only really used for that effect and whereas before I really needed to see him to make sure I saved on cards because I have so much drop power it's not as bad and they rail gifts a card I can just search it out whenever I need it and that's the main deck all right shards we play six argent shards I have three different kinds of regular argent shards we play one Corona. Uh, Corona is a legendary shard. If you control another legendary shard, this card uh, send this card to the discard zone. It obviously can be can produce one, and you can exhaust it, soul burst your spirit, and destroy any target unit. This card's great in green because of the fact that it, it lets you destroy any. The only other destroy card can only uh, the hurricane shot can only destroy a four or lower. This can just hit anything. And sometimes you just give up your spirit to kill a card. And then Zephyr Crystal. This is still the best shard in the game. Uh, there's no reason not to run it. I mean, it sucks if that it comes in tapped if you're playing uh, other colors. But being able to ping augments when you absolutely need to is is extremely important. Um, if your shard isn't air, it comes in tapped. I'm sorry, if your spirit isn't air, it comes in tapped produce one then you can pay it and two more to destroy any target argument that's the shards uh, we played the, the five regular towers fire destroys a unit water draw two uh, light makes a 2k guardian token air unit bounces two the air tower is green's best friend uh, tower of darkness you know look at your points hand ripper card 
the reason the air tower is green's best friend is because if you're playing green and you hit an air tower you can actually set it up so your opponent doesn't even want to use it on you whether it be getting cards like Daga back to your hand your opponent doesn't want you to play that again uh sky tree hawk sky tree hawks sky tree hawk breaks this they don't want to bounce and let you draw cards if you have command center they don't want to give you more counters um I wanted to decide the other green tower in case I ended up in the rare match, but I didn't see it. I didn't play in the rare match today, so I guess it wasn't a big deal. Um, but even for the, if your tower rare gets broken, you don't have to bounce back your opponent's card. You can bounce back your own and trigger all your effects. So, like I said, green's best friend. And on to the side deck. I played one Fizzy of the Spirit shard. Um, if you can hold another shard, another legendary shard. It gets sent to the discard. You can exhaust it, flip your spirit face down, and draw two. Um, green's worst matchup would probably be black. Only because it can rip cards out of your hand very efficiently. So just it's just another way to draw more cards. Because sometimes the, the, you, you just need those two cards to win the game. I play three Bone Scavid Scavengers. Um, arrive, expel target unit from the discard. Um, you could pay one to expel another target unit from the discard. And, from either player's discard, I'm sorry. And if you do, it gets a plus 500 counter permanently. Um, this card is an amazing one drop. Um, I had it in my side mostly for black because most other decks I can handle with just what I had in the main. Um, it just gets, keeps on getting bigger and it just keeps on removing things. The fact that is the second effect is at instant speed, so you can do it in response to your opponent trying to target something in their in their discard and be like, nah. I played uh sided two silver watch woman. Uh four drop two K arrive, put two counters on it, move counter, gains quickness, can remove counter, give it target attack, and you can move a counter uh to prevent the deck's damage a card would take. Um just in case I played against a deck that was too defensive and I just and a deck that I wanted to keep pushing against. Or say I lost game one and I needed to rush game two outside in more quickness. Um three Sansi Coverts. This was more for if I played against red not red, I'm sorry, blue. Or some variant of it. Um four drop, twenty five K. This you, you know, your opponent cannot target any units with spells. Uh, for one, that's every unit in the deck. Just no target spells, which is almost every spell in blue besides Shards of Winter and Chronostasis, I believe. Um, it's a 25, so it's big. And it's just, just a straight solid card. Um, I sided four Sky Ship Blockade Ship, uh, Sky Tree Blockade Ships. 4k, no, 4 drop, 25k. Guardian and whatever is in front of it cannot attack. In reality, this thing could stop two attacks a turn if there's a dude in front of him. Um, and that's a starter deck card. It was always solid. Uh, two Sky Tree Warships. Um, Sky Tree Warship is six drop, 3k, has Destroyer. On arrive, can can destroy a target four or less. And Ruin can put in play a four drop Sky Raider unit or an airship unit. Um, Sky Raiders, I think I only run one. Airships, I don't run any, but I'll get into why, he, why he's on the side in a second. Last card is Konos. 7 drop, 4k, Guardian. Um, whatever's in front of him loses 2k and cannot attack. And once per turn, you can bounce an air unit to your hand. If you do, he becomes unaffected by all spells. Um, the fact that he's unaffected by all spells... Board wipes, targets, nothing works on him. Um, the big combo, uh, these guys specifically are for defense. Um, if I play into a deck that I need to slow get, slow down, um, I actually sided this a lot against red or red-white. Uh, I think I also sided against green-white because they just wanted to keep bunching me. Um, I already have two Guardians main decked with, um, with the Etons. This gives me four more. This also gives me a little bit more spot removal, but a big combo you can do with your Eton Champion is you can pay one, sack the Sky Tree Warship, put in play the Konos for one. Now you have a Guardian, and now he stops. So he stops an attack in front of him, or just kills a guy because he negs two thousand. 
And then because of Sky Tree Warship, when it gets uh, ruined, you can put in play a 4-drop airship. Now you have blockade ship. Now you have two guardians. And whatever's in front of this can't attack too. So now you just cut off four attacks. So, more defense. Now, this deck is very subject to change. Um, because like I said, I just built it last built it last minute. I actually built it the night before the tournament. Um, if you guys have any advice, let me know. First thing I already want to change is I already want to put, um, obviously, more, two more Queen of Sand Seas. Um, I'm thinking about putting the six drop ships back in the main deck. Or the Scorpion, the one that makes two uh, Ruin tokens. Because you can sack the five drop Eton and then discard an Eton to get it back. So now you, you end up with four dudes as opposed to just one or two. Um, eccentric Visitor to unflip my spirit. And the fact is I can bounce them back and use it over and over again. I can abuse Fizzy, I can abuse Corona. Um, like, I've already got ideas spinning, but if you guys have any other advice, uh, please feel free to comment. I hope you liked the video, um, and I'll see you guys on the next one.